Query Foundation Models. Okay, hi, hello everyone. I am Naval Yamal. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Data Master, and welcome to the new playlist on the DataBricks Generative AI. In this video, we are going to discuss about query the foundation models by using different methods. So we will learn how to format the querying request for the foundation models and send them to the model serving endpoints. So you can see there are so many methods how we can start querying the foundation models starting with the open AI client or you can simply use a SQL functions. So Databricks provides us a function that is uh, AI query that's a SQL function with the help of that AI query function we can start querying any foundational model that are available in the serving endpoints and we can also use a uh, serving ui and the rest api or we have an option called ml flow deployment sdk that is software development kit or you can go with by databricks python sdk uh, python sdk is a layer on top of your rest api so these are the different methods how we can start querying your foundation models in the databricks so if you just scroll down we have a uh, install packages like if you are querying it by using a open ai client we need to install the packages of uh, databricks sdk for rest api you don't need uh, any packages for ml flow uh, deployment we need a uh, pip install ml flow and for databricks python sdk uh, it's already installed in your uh, databricks runtime version of 13.3 uh, and above so you don't need to worry about that so when it come when you just scroll down you can see query a chat completion model by these all methods you can even use a lang chain or a sql as well so let me show you one by one like first i'll pick up the sql and as i've mentioned is ai query is a beautiful sql function that helps you to query the foundation models which are available in your serving endpoint so i'll just copy this query I'll go back to my notebook. My notebook is up and running. My computer is up and running. My notebook is ready. I'll just try to copy this. Yeah, a simple SQL query. I'm using select a function called AI query. I'm using a model serving endpoint that is Databricks Meta's Llama. So if you are not aware of the model serving endpoints, you can just go to the machine learning section here and you should see serving endpoint. I'll just open this in a new tab. In my pre previous sessions, I have discussed about the model serving endpoints, how to deploy your models and how we can even create an external models that helps you to uh, serve in this serving endpoint. And we have seen that there are chat models with Databricks supports like Meta's Llama models, DBRX model and the Mistral model is supported in the Databricks now in the serving endpoint. Even you can configure it uh, some external models as well like OpenAI GPT model and other models as well okay so now we are using a meta's llama model so you can just go click inside this and you can copy the serving endpoint uh, name and let me go back to the notebook yeah this is my serving endpoint and i am just writing a simple question like uh, can you explain ai in 10 words i'll just try to run this and remember you don't need uh, uh, don't need to worry about any installation any packages and so on just by writing a simple sql query you can query that foundational models and now your uh, model that is your meta's llama model is trying to generate an output uh, saying that artificial intelligence machine learning thinking and so on in 10 words so this is method one by using a sql let us switch to the second method how we can query foundational models in databricks uh, second is Langchain. Uh, yeah, using a Langchain you can do it. So I have already installed the Databricks Langchain uh, package. I'll just copy this. I'll go back to my foundational model notebook. I'll paste it here. So we are just using a system message and the human message. System message is like uh, we are uh, telling our bot or your uh, model that you will be our helpful assistant and i'm just asking a question like what is the mixture of an expert uh, model so a concept of the machine learning and now i'm using a class called chat databricks so yes if you are familiar with the lang chain we are using a class called chat databricks if you want to uh, 
use a open ai model then we use a class called chat open ai i have made a separate video on how to start, get started with a lang chain if you are not familiar with that you can go and check that video so just i'm invoking a message uh, so i'm calling the llm and i'm just printing a message i just try to run this and it will try to answer this output okay so databricks lang chain is not uh, installed let me just go back and do a quick installation on this databricks lang chain yeah let me run this yeah the actual error is uh, when you are using a class uh, chat databricks uh, we need to use just an endpoint not an endpoint name and now it should work so i have done all the necessary installation of the packages uh, you can see here langchat databricks is already installed yeah cool now you can see we got an answer so i'm using a model called uh, databricks dbrx which is available in the uh, serving endpoint and you got your ai message that is your model is responding it and you can see other details as well like a metadata details uh, like response metadata and we have some tokens and other details okay so this is how we can query it by using a lang chain so let me just make a note of it it's a lang chain now let us move to the next method how we can start using it and that's your databricks python sdk uh, let me just copy this come back to my notebook and let me paste it here and now we are using a workspace client a databricks workspace client and here we are importing a chat message chat message role and so on uh, we are using a serving endpoint a dot query class and i am referring a model name called databricks dbrx instruct and here we are giving a message like a system role and the user role so system role is for your ai model that you are an helpful assistant and then we are writing any query and we are we can restrict the number of tokens as well so here i am restricting the tokens as maximum tokens as 128 you can pass some other parameters as well so i'm just printing the response now uh, but to be very precise i just need a content i don't need any metadata on that so let me try to run this and we can generate a output from the dbrx model you can change the model name as well now this is by using a databricks python sdk sdk okay let us wait for a few more seconds Okay, let us uh, yeah cool you can see you got a response and it is generating maximum of 128 token you can increase it or you can just remove that parameter to generate a complete uh, output okay so mixture of expert model is a type of machine learning algorithm and so on you can try out different questions as well so let me just say uh, what is unity catalog catalog in databricks okay let me try to run this and with the help of databricks sdk we can generate an output so this is the third method uh, let us go back and we have the other method called mlflow deployment sdk so we can do the same thing by using a mlflow we have a function called predict by using this predict we can start querying it so i'll copy the syntax come back yeah uh cool you can see here now we uh, i have written a different question what is unity catalog uh, it's a data management services that allows you to discover manage and govern the data assets in the databricks so the answer is correct so now this is the next method how we can query the foundation models by using a ml flow sdk and let me tell you ml flow is an open source uh you can say open source python library for your complete end-to-end -end machine learning as well as generative ai so if you are using the ml flow within the databricks notebook you don't need a databricks host and databricks token so i'll just comment these two commands you don't need a token for the if you are running this in your databricks notebooks but if you are running it outside the databricks notebook that definitely you need a databricks host and you need a token for that so how, how to get a host that is your url and how to create a token i'll explain that in few minutes let me uh, explain you this script here so it's client.predict we are using an endpoint called uh, databricks dbrx you can use other models as well and we are assigning a role like a, a just a content as hello and your assistant would like to respond like hello how can i assist you today and the user says uh, what is a mixture of experts model i'll try, try to change the question here i would like to say what is a 
uh, ml flow ml flow and i have i have set some other parameters as well like temperature and maximum token uh, you can change that later on so let me try to run this uh, yeah it executed now i can see it uh, successfully executed now let me just print the output here uh, by just using a print i'll take this print chat response and i'll just print this with this chat response you get all the details uh, i can see it shows you the id it shows you the which model and it also shows you the content so this is where your exactly output is uh, it's an open source platform for managing a machine learning workflows and other details so if you just and you get the tokens and so on if you got if you want the exact uh, message uh, or a content and nothing else so we can also do that by just writing a print chat response and i need a content from that so let me just try to run this and you should see just a content and nothing else so this is how we can query our foundation model using a ml flow sdk so let me go back to the document yeah so rest api is again very simple it is just uh, a part of the databricks sdk so actually databricks sdk is sitting on the top of the uh, rest api so yes i have covered with sql how we can uh, query it by using a lang chain uh, databricks python sdk ml flow sdk and so on so uh, if you want to go to the open ai client yeah you can also switch it uh, it is simple you can try that using a open ai client now let me go to the notebook as i mentioned it if you want to run it outside the databricks you need a host and the token so let me show you how will you get a host from the databricks so if you are using a databricks account or a databricks workspace every databricks workspace has a unique uh, url so if you go to the home tab from here you get the unique url and this is my unique url i'll just copy this come back and i'll just paste it here so this is my host starting with http link and this is my azure databricks i'll just copy this all uh, if you are using a aws databricks then it starts with uh, cloud.databricks.com but this should work i'll copy this uh, till dot net and i'll just paste it here okay so this is how you can get the link oh my bad let me copy this and paste it here so cool so this is the databricks host or you can say a simply url and how you will create a token so i'll just explain you how to create a token i can go to the settings so to create a token you need to be an admin or you need a uh, you need you might be a workspace admin so workspace admin or the owner of the databricks account and only those can create the access keys so go to the developers i mean in the settings you have the user section go to the developers and from here you can access the tokens click on manage token and i'll just hit on create a token and you can give a name for the token and give a validity and you will generate a token just copy that token and you can paste it here so that you can access the databricks url by, via using this token but if you are using it outside the databricks within the databricks you don't need a url and you don't need a token so that's all for the video i'll do a very quick recap now so i was just talking about how to query the foundation model we can do it by using a serving endpoint ui as well uh, let me go back serving ui yeah you can start querying it you can start using it if you click on this it will take you to the ai playground but if you want to start querying them in the databricks notebooks you can start it by using varieties of methods as i have explained this first by using a sql we have a function called ai query with the simple uh, very powerful sql query we can query all the foundational models available in the serving endpoint uh, and then we have the next method called langchain with the help of the langchain framework you can start querying those uh, models and the third method we have seen is by using a databricks sdk and the mlflow sdk i hope you enjoyed this video if you like the content please like the video subscribe to pacharal and share it with your friend thank you for watching again keep learning see you in the next video bye bye